Some poor feathers, dog, Sarge. It's a Zerglin, Lester. Smaller type of Zerg. Well, he can be out this far, unless. Oh, shit. I love you, Sarge. Receiving incoming transmission. Comlink established. I got your message, Magistrate. And frankly, I don't care what you have to say about Confederate regulations. You damn fringe world yokels are all alike. Don't know where your loyalties lie. Y'all have a real good day now, you hear? Transmission ended. The report you requested is ready. Sixteen outland stations have reported sightings of the alien invaders identified as Zerg. The Confederates have arrested all standing militia forces and continue to avoid action against the Zerg. Three stations have fallen to the Zerg already. We've been unable to locate any source of military relief except the extremist faction known as the Sons of Korhal. Their liaison is holding online. Good day, Magistrate. My name is Arcturus Mensk, and I represent the Sons of Korhal. You are familiar with the Confederate propaganda surrounding my group, but your reputation suggests you'll see past it. It's never been our practice to operate in any one place for long, but these Zerg don't look like they're going to wait. I'm going to make you an offer, Magistrate. I'd like to help you out by sending down a number of transports to your colony and evacuating any survivors. Of course, that my organization operates outside the bounds of Confederate law. That's why they spread their lies and misinformation. If you decide to accept our help, you'll be branded as an outlaw too. But it's a chance to save those people. Time to make a stand, Magistrate. Ending transmission. Priority alert. Evacuation zone under attack by Zurich forces. Distress Beacon activated at 1220. Hello everybody, Rachel 2, another episode of Let's Play StarCraft, the campaign. So, um, uh, uh the reason why I start off with the cinematic is because, um, it played at the end of the last episode I forgot was going to play. And the video was already turned off, so I just, re I just played it again, I just thought I'd play it manually. Um, so this mission's pretty simple, you gotta survive for 30 minutes. It's not too hard. I'll probably do like two missions, but I'm probably going to take a break and eat so, some food. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get started. Hey, this thing's on fire. You ought to send an SCV out here to repair it. It takes my back up to you while it's at. Not enough minerals. Give me some Not enough minerals. Commander. Give me some so, yeah. I'm going to try to do what I can here. Not enough minerals. Commander, standing by can take cover in these bunkers if things get too dicey. Yeah, well, guess what? I'm putting you in the government bunkers even though it's not going to get dicey because. Yeah. Not enough minerals. They get a lot of not these guys minerals. going. Then you get a lot of SCVs going here. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not 
Now, I love the soundtrack of this game. The soundtrack of this game is really awesome. Those guys are dead. Alright. This mission is going to take 30 minutes, so... Hopefully it will be good. I haven't get marine si uh, marine s s site upgraded. First, I get enough workers so I can get a lot of resources going. Cause yeah, I want to make sure I have enough troops to get resources as high as possible. Okay, that should be enough. I'm, as soon as I get those these ones done, I'm gonna build my first supply depot. I might go take out some of the Zerg bases, I don't know, to get some extra resources. But yeah, I'm gonna build bunkers and stuff. I already have a barracks out. I'm gonna build a second barracks though at some point so I can get more troops out. I'm gonna need that, so... Now recently, when I've come back to this game, and you've come back to this game, and you've played it after playing StarCraft 2 for a while, this game seems easy compared to StarCraft 2. Because once you've got the hang of StarCraft 2, it's like, okay, I know how to do hotkeys and stuff. And I still don't know how to do hotkeys perfectly. I still have problems doing hotkeys. But, uh, I got in decent at hotkeys to where it won't be too bad. Now, one of you... I'm going to have you build a barracks. And you bring a build a barracks there. I'm going to ask you to build a bunker and i got to build some supply depots. Now, i got a lot of SCVs mining on minerals, but I don't think that's going to be enough. I might need to go for, a, for an expansion, but in order to get the expansion, I have to take out a third base, so... Which is going to be kind of hard to do because the Zerg bases are really well guarded in this. It is possible to defeat the Zerg bases and make it where you don't lose anything. But, the problem with that is if you try to go to the Zerg bases like Ultralists and stuff, the Ultralists will not attack any attack forces. But, um, let's go ahead and get ourselves our, 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 our th thing built. The Greg's getting built there. But, uh, yeah. So these guys I'm going to send over here to work on gas. Now, um, StarCraft 2 campaign will be on hold as I have to rebuy it because I forgot the, uh, and the, the thing to my other account, the password. So, uh, in order, and, and the way they have it set up now is you, in order to get support, you have to go to the, uh, how they have it set up now is you have to go to the... How they have it set up now is you have to go to the, uh... Not you. You can't even mine anything. You're, you, you're a freaking marine. Alright, now I'm going to build... Uh, let's go get some marines up. I need to get, I need to get some marines up. I know you also need to throw some more guys inside of minerals as well. Uh, well, one of you I'm gonna I'm gonna use for building barracks. Actually, I need two people, two of them actually. So I'm gonna do that. Never mind, I can't. I need more supply depots. Damn it! I need to build some more things though. I'm gonna, I need to start getting my barracks up, my bunkers up soon. Because I need to wall this off so I can win the match. Yeah, that's almost done. Well, after this is done, I'm going to send that guy over to repair that bunker. Then we'll start building some more bunkers. 
Build our SCB. Yeah, there we go. You are gonna build another bunker. You want a piece of me, boy, sir. And then, as I said, I'm gonna wall this off so I don't have to worry about. It. Hopefully, my computer doesn't crash because last time I did this uh, video, my computer decided it would be a douche and crash on me. So, but um, hopefully now it won't do that. But, um, we'll see. I feel like it's going to do it again. Go in there. And you're going to build another barracks. For the bunker. Okay, there we go. Got it. I lost my guy on the high ground. That's fine. Uh, upgrade that. Get the get the sight going. Do you know I need a lot of supply depots? I hope I have enough troops to make as much as I would have enough to, I, I see I have enough I have a lot of SCBs doing resources, but I don't think they're mining fast enough. I might need more than that actually. I think these SCBs are slow as hell right now. Yeah, so the site upgrade is almost done. Once I have that done it'll be good because uh the site upgrade is what is what gets the Marines really good. Site upgrades like gets the reins really good. Uh, gives the reins a good, good enough sight. And I'll probably upgrade my attack as well. So I can do more damage to the Zerg. Now I think I'm only get one level up because I don't think I can get any more after that. And uh, be you, or you're going to build a bunker. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting another, another thing up so I can use it. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Good for you. Alright, so I got that. Okay, so I need to wall this off. As long as I keep one guy. Yeah, there's the, yeah, you guys need to get a, 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 a good attempt at that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try my best here. Um, I don't know if I'll do two videos or not. I might do two videos, but I think I'm going to stop and eat dinner for eat supper first. You know, eat, I guess my second supper, because I already had supper once. Because I, uh, yeah. And I'm gonna, so is this going here? Okay. I'm going to go B, B. I'm going to wall this off. Because that's less. Because the less. Because the more I wall this off, I have survived the final attack before in this game, and it's very easy to actually survive the final attack. We're already almost 20 minutes through. Okay, good. This episode's gonna be like 40 minutes long though, because of the cinematic and the uh, brief mission mission briefing. All right, you. We go B B, and I'm gonna block this off right here, and then I'm gonna build some more barracks bunkers after that, so I can get some more. Marines. Uh, that guy's that thing is dead. The mutilisk is dead. I know what the mutilisk is. So Wow, this is taking forever. It's all, once it's done though we'll be we'll be in good condi condition here. Um uh, go I'm gonna go M and build some marines here. Not enough so I need to build some marines. Not enough minerals. Uh, Not enough minerals. Alright, so now I need these marines because um, once I get enough minerals, I'm going to build a bunker, some more bunkers. Because I need at least five bunkers. Because uh, once you have five bunkers, see uh, the main the main thing is you want to try to build as many buildings as you can on this mission. Because the more buildings you have, 
The old buildings are gonna take out, and they get, that's more time that they have to waste taking your buildings out. Yes, sir. So yeah, keep that in mind. That that's that's the thing. Hopefully they can't get to my. Hopefully they, hopefully I can build a couple of these here. Not enough right. This almost done. And once that's done, I can go ahead and build two more barracks and wall two more bunkers and wall this off. Alright, hurry up and give me some more minerals. B U K You guys are gonna get inside this bunker here. You're gonna also be you as well. I can. Go. Uh, let's do that. With the marine sight, it's gonna be really good. Because I'll be able to uh, attack the Zerg even with the th their thing. Now, if I want to get out, I can just lift this. I'm putting some workers, not some workers, I'm putting some marines out here in the middle. Because that's more stuff they have to kill before they even get to my base. Now, usually I'm not this smart in this game. But this is against computer players, so if I lose to computer players, that's kind of a, that's kind of lame. But, um, yeah, I'm not good online, though, however. No, the SCV! Save the SCV! Ah, oh, damn it, he died. Alright, Damn it, I have to rebuild that now. Build us, you know, I'm not going to rebuild that. Alright. You guys, did I get my guys in here? No, I did not. I'm gonna send you guys in here then. There, now I have all these filled. Oh, this one's got one missing. There we go, now it's not at all filled. This SCP can't get out, so, uh, yes, he can. And now he can't, though. There he goes, okay, he's got him back in there. Alright, so I need him to go, go in there and repair that at some point, but, uh, be you this right there, and then I'm going to drag you guys and put you guys in there. And you're going to come over here, because I'm going to take the four of you and put you in the other bucket. Now, the wall-off is one thing that is, is really good if you want to do in this game. Because the wall-off will give you so much advantage in this match. I usually don't wall-off. I usually don't do walls that much, but, uh, I'll put this here so I can wall that part off. So they're gonna attack this side next, so I'm ready for that. Alright, so try to build as many buildings as possible. I can build a bunch of stuff. I can build a bunch of supply depots. But, uh, I need to build another guy in my base so I can build supply depots. I'm gonna need them. Alright, so those guys, yeah, can't okay, get. There we go, okay. There's that, okay, we gotta build that building. Okay, so I'm trying to get as many people as, as I said. I'm trying to get as many troops as possible because I'm gonna need them for yeah. We'll have you come over here. Put that guy there so that way when he comes and fights, I'm gonna put this guy like right here. I'm putting these. I'm wedging these in the crevices. You are gonna repair this guy because I forgot to repair him. So there's that guy getting repaired. Um, we're doing pretty good as far as life goes. He's in the green now, so that's good. And he's completely repaired now.
Now, repairing that is one key thing. But yeah, the wall. But yeah, the wall offs are really good to have in this. Build that there. I'm gonna have you supply depot. As long as I have a lot of supply depots, though, I'm pretty sure I'm good. Again, the more buildings you have, the more uh, Zerg you can take out. Now, the Zerglings don't usually cause the most damage. The Hydralis is not so much, and that's going to be bad. You're going to repair that. I need to repair that. Okay, now I need to do this. Build some turrets. I'm going to build some turrets on the outside over here. Keep my base from getting attacked by Mutas, Mutas again. Now, the Zerg campaign is a little bit harder, so I'm hoping that I won't have too much trouble with it. The Zerg campaign is really difficult, so... I can probably put him up here and attack on the higher ground, most likely. You can go up there? Yeah, you can go up there, okay. Put you over there, and you can, you can attack on the high ground. So yeah, I'm, the more building, I'm building as much buildings as possible. I have like five of those. I could probably go for six, probably. But get that. There we go. I'm building as many of these, as many troops as I can, because the more marines I have, the more I can, damage I can do. So how much do I have as far as? Okay, I'm gonna have you build a supply depot actually, just to be sure I don't run out of space. I run out of min limits. And you are going to go for another turret. There we go. Alright, we're getting there. Okay, this, As I said, this episode is going to be almost an hour long because of the uh, cinematic and the uh, cinematic and the briefing. The briefing itself, I believe, takes like five minutes. No, not five minutes. Three minutes at the most. And then the cutscene that I played is at least two minutes, so that's five minutes right there. Plus this, so eh, probably like 30 minutes, I don't know. Or over a little over 30 minutes, maybe. So we have that done. I'm going to do the armor as well. I'm going to go for a factory so I can get some vultures. That guy can't even get out. Never mind. You can build a factory, though. You're not trapped. I can get spider mines. Which might be something I want to consider, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go do some spider mines and get some vultures. Plant some spider mines in the front of the, near the ramp. Once I have all these, though, the mutos won't stand a chance because there's a lot of these here. But, um, yeah, I think we have plenty of resources at the moment. I don't think we need any more guys. So, eight minutes left in the dropship arrival. Sons of Core Hall. Gonna be here shortly. There we go. Yeah, I got this build. I got these barracks is really well, really well surrounded. So that take out my my guys before they can take out my barracks. So here comes a, an attack. Two, two hydras. That's it. Okay. We're gonna build another turret right there. I'm gonna build a machine shop and get and get the uh, spider mines. No, I didn't want to cancel it. Once that's done, I'll be able to get the spider mines done. I want to move out with my vultures and place spider mines down, so I can hopefully maybe win the match. Because if all the spider mines that I have out go off, I can take out the Zerg the Zerg forces. There, in the final attack. The final attack is crazy, but I've survived it several times. So, 
We got a lot of turrets. This base is going to be really well protected. That on complete. Okay. Oh, vulture speed. I can, I can get that too. Researching that spider mine so I can use the spider mines against to my advantage. The spider mines are one thing I'm going to use to my advantage. So, as I said, StarCraft 2 will return. The, the campaign for StarCraft 2 will return. But for now, I'm just going to entertain you guys with StarCraft 1. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man? Spider-Mines are almost done. Spider-Mines are done. Oh, I can't get out of my base, though. Problem. Problem. Okay, actually, I'm gonna move these guys outward. I'm gonna lift this up so the vulture can get through. And then I'm gonna land you back down. Taking all my vultures out. So I get spider mines built. I'm gonna have to put that right down though when the final attack comes. I can't get to the other side of the base. I can't get to the other side of my base. Okay, it's fine. And now. Okay, there's that. Now, um, yeah, I dig. No problem. Oh, is that it? No problem. I dig. Oh, is that it? Something on your mind? Is 
Alright. I'm just gonna do a little of attacking just for the hell of it. Alright, we all to go. Give me something to shoot. Commander, jacked up and good to go. Give me something to shoot. Sons of Korhal dropships approaching. Yeah, as you see they didn't really do much damage. Strap yourselves in, boys. So yeah. <laughs> so you guys have it. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play StarCraft The Campaign. In the next episode, we will do the next mission. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you really like it, when you help my channel grow, make sure you subscribe. Also, make sure you hit that bell icon down below to make sure you're notified of my uploads, because I'll do videos like this every time I get a chance. And also, don't forget to leave any comments you have down below. This is Rare 200, singing 20% Cooler, signing off. Peace out.